The problem with animals, unlike people, if a person is beginning to get sick, they'll start complaining about aches and pains and problems six months or a year in advance. The problem with animals is that oftentimes you don't know what's happening to the body internally because the animal just acts totally normal. It's eating well, it's wagging its tail, everything, and then all of a sudden it hits and the kidneys are failing. So the ability to determine early on a problem before it turns into a disease really puts you light years ahead on the therapy because if you can find an early problem that if it's not corrected will eventually lead to a disease and correct it by by giving the body the nutrients so it can correct itself you can actually prevent that disease from occurring so the use of the nutrients based upon what the blood tells us gives the body the fuel it needs to achieve homeostasis and when you have homeostasis, you will generate healing. Take a car that's out of tune and put high quality gasoline into it, it's not gonna work until you tune up the engine. So the blood work and the specific supplements based on the blood is what metabolically tunes up the organs. It supports them, it takes care of autoimmune complexes. It helps them on a cellular level so that the body can then utilize the hopefully good food that you put in. We, we've developed over our 35 years of work what's called the, the nutritional blood test. You know, you have your blood work and then you have your nutritional exam blood work. And you get both of those and then you have a report that comes with it, obviously, that helps you to understand the values and what, which ones are off and why they're off. And part of that can be given to the client. Actually, part of that is a copy for the client. So they kind of understand what was, what was low and high and why they were low and high. And everything is so much easier if you have a plan for it. No one can say that nutrition is not important. It just depends on the degree of medicine you want to practice. You can be a veterinarian or a doctor and see the patient, give them their pills, maybe look at them for five seconds, or you can see that pet, do a good exam, focus on what they're going to need, and try to do a, a better job. It's about good medicine.